Hello gainers, welcome to my channel called Fitter Philosophy. I'm Ralphie, your host. You're very welcome. Make yourself comfortable. This will just be a few minutes. It won't be taking too much of your precious time, but I'm going to share a personal experience because learning from other people and learning from the world around us is, is often the case that we learn from others what works for others and what others do. And it's not that we replicate it exactly for ourselves. We say, well, I can take this bit and that bit and I like that section and I'm not sure about that if it would work for me, but we adjust, adapt and we customise what we learn from others to suit and work for ourselves. So I've been shedding a few pounds and I'm going to tell you what works for me. To put it into context, uh, I don't attempt to shed any pounds or any weight during the winter time. It's the wrong time of year. In fact, as time goes on, as I get older, I find that to have a bit more weight, to be overweight in the winter is actually beneficial for my general health, strength and immunity. And in fact, it's the summer months when there's generally a lot more light around because days are longer. I find it much a much better environment and time of year to be losing a few pounds, getting slimmer and trimmer and feeling the benefits for that. So first and foremost, exercise. Now, I'm not talking about slamming heavy weights at the gym here. I do that now and again, but I can't sustain it because I'm older. But I just keep taking over with some form of exercise, whether it be lifting weights in the gym, going for a swim, or ideally walking. Walking is an exercise that everybody can do no matter what their condition, relatively speaking. It's the easiest, simplest, cheapest way to start exercising. However, although exercise is important, the fundamental misunderstanding many people have is that when you exercise more, you can eat more. Yes, you can. If you're eating for nutrition, not for entertainment. Ask any bodybuilder or physique competition athlete, they will confirm that although you make the gains in the gym, the real gains in terms of appearance, are made in the kitchen. And when we re-examine our eating habits, because we're all habitual, when we re-examine these eating habits, we find that encroaching in is eating for entertainment, snacking, chocolate bars, crisps, chips, processed food, ice cream, anything out the supermarket that comes in a cardboard bag pack it with bright colours on it, biscuits, health snacks, protein bars, the calorific value of one protein bar will negate the calories lost in a heavy workout in one session in the gym for your average person. People don't realise and what we're going to do is focus on nutrition first raw food, salads, stews, chicken or lentils if you're a vegetarian. See what's available to you local and think nutrition, not entertainment. That really, really gets you started. And then after I've started off with getting the, the nutritional things sorted and it's been running for a few months and I'm noticing a few pounds is lost. I can really, really accelerate it by implement, implementing something else. So I'm not relying on the one system and I'm not, by the way, for the record, using fat burners or any other chemicals. The, frankly, I've tried them. They do not work. I'm going to repeat that because it's important. They do not work unless they are dramatic and drastic and potentially harmful to you. Be aware of that. Keep it simple, KIS, green tea, for example. That'll help, but cider vinegar, things that don't cost a lot of money and you sustain your use of them, 
they're more likely to work. Intermittent fasting. I start off with an afternoon, I wake up in the morning, I don't have any breakfast. And by lunchtime I'm a bit hungry, so I have a nutritious lunch, say some fish or some scrambled eggs. And, and that's me. If I'm, I'll leave it a few days and then I'll have another intermittent fast of half a day, but then we'll get up to the weekend. So from Saturday I'll finish my dinner on um, what I'm eating for a meal, 6pm, and I won't eat anything until 6pm on Sunday. And I do that a few times, listening to my body for any feedback. If I'm f The body will soon tell you when it's getting too much. And then, to finalise things, a short keto. So a short period, and I recommend you do keep it short, because it's quite a dramatic impact in your body. Be aware of it. Uh, where you're not eating any carbs. You're eating protein and fats and no carbs. Therefore, the body has to go into ketosis. Uh, and this basically means it is its speediest, about the speediest way for the body to consume the energy in the fat cells, thereby shrinking the fat cells. So how am I looking, gainers? I've lost seven kilograms in three months. Seven kilograms in three months. And that is roughly in pounds. It's over a stone. It's about 18 pounds. Gone from 205 pounds, just under 200, 190 pounds. And I'm doing it this way because I've experimented in the past. I've tried it. This is what works and the rest didn't. Therefore, this is why I continue using this, this technique. And it's absolutely true. Keep it cost, cost efficient, no fancy products, sustain it. If you get the, to the stage where you're getting the shakies, the wobblies, the heebie-jeebies, listen to your body, back off your, your, your program. I'm not gonna call it a diet, I'm calling it a program. It's a temporary program, but the great thing is the conclusion is that we can reward ourselves with an ice cream, for example, if we really want. But at this point, you find it far easier to sustain your program over the next few months than it is if you were suddenly stopping a diet. I'm Rafi. Hope you've enjoyed this. Click likey, subscribe, all the rest of it, and we'll see you soon, gainers. Because, after all, my gains shared with your gains make more gains.